everyone, it's Keila here with my layout for UK Scrap Addicts. Um, this month we are focusing on a sketch designed by Laura Mumble. Um, the sketch is amazing, but I'm going to change it up a little bit by using butterflies instead of the stars. So firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some paint splatters to my background. Um, I'm using colours that are within the butterflies that I've cut. So I'm going to use some pink, some blue and some green. And these are, you know, you can't really see them. I cover them up, most of them up, but you can see them peeking out just a little bit between the butterflies and, you know, that's fine for me. Um, I love how the water looks in my cup there. Um, it, because the paints that I'm using are quite pearly, um, so the water goes all, all pearly and shimmery. It looks really pretty. Um, so anyway, these are the layered butterflies. Um, you did see a glimpse of, of them at the beginning, uh, but these are Paige Evans um, layered butterflies and I cut them using my silhouette um, before I started recording. And I've cut them in various different pattern papers that are in um, our Mind the Scrap kit this month. In fact, these papers are from a six by eight um, paper pad that we got in the Bougeau kit this month. I don't normally get the Bougeau kit, but um, as soon as I seen that this paper pad um, from Coco Vanilla was in it, I just had to treat myself. Um, <clears throat> plus, um, I'm having to cut back on my scrappy spends for a little while, so I'm having to end my Mind the Scrap subscription, which makes me really sad, but it's not, it should only be for a short period of time. Um, I'm just showing you here a close-up of the butterflies. I've machine stitched through the centres, <coughs> um, which I really love the detail it adds and it enables me to bend the edges up of the butterflies, which adds a lot of dimension to the page. Um, the photo I'm going to be scrapping today is of my new niece, Penny. Um, she was born in uh, June this year and she's absolutely gorgeous. She's like a little doll and we've all fell in love with her straight away. She's she's really is beautiful. So um, I've stuck all the butterflies down. <coughs> I didn't let you watch the entire process of me sticking them down because it was quite fiddly to get them all to layer up and, you know, look right for me. I'm now going to um, back my layout. I, I decided I wanted um, a paper border around the edge. I really like doing this. Um, to my layouts and I always got the centres of the paper that I'm going to use so that I can use it on other projects um, and once I've added this onto the background um, well the border onto the background I uh, machine stitch around the edge of the page as well just to add some extra details to my page and I love stitching whether it's machine or hand stitching on my layouts um, so I'm bringing out this and I, I take I think about a centimeter off the side and a centimeter off the top so it's not showing a huge border around the layout but it's just enough to to make it look okay for me because I really do like it when my layouts have got a thin border around the edge so I've decided to add to my butterflies by fussy cutting some of the butterflies out of this paper which I can imagine that this month I only use this paper for fussy cutting. It is just made for making extra embellishments for, for layouts, surely. <laughs> um, I couldn't imagine using it as layers or anything like that, definitely, for extra embellishments. And it goes perfectly, obviously, with my layout because I've got the layer butterflies on there. So again, I don't want make you watch me fussy cut all of these butterflies, <laughs> but I thought I'd leave a little bit of my process in because otherwise my my videos will be incredibly short. Um, so I cut them out in various colours. I've got some pink, blue, there's a navy and another pink one. And I'm just showing you now that I've stuck all those on. Oh, there's an orange one there as well. Um, and now I'm going to pick my title for this page. Apologies if you hear my cat, she has just walked over, so I'm trying to move away <laughs> because otherwise she'll start purring. Um, my title is going to be quite simple, I'm just going to keep it as Penny. Um, 
all her birth details I'll add in the the journaling you know what she weighed and what time she was born etc um, which I've done on my other pages for my nieces and nephews I like to keep all that that information definitely on the their pages because I think it's you know it's important to document those little details um, and now I'm going to to back my photo I think it just needed something around the edge um, and I wanted to bring in some more of the the darker blue so I'm going to use this paper here just for a thin border around my photo <coughs> and really that's more or less the layout finished um, obviously I do stick all this down and um, stick the photo to to the actual layout and um, I do need to straighten up the the title as well but you know I'm really pleased with how the page has turned out even though I didn't use stars like in the original the original sketch which you know I think a sketch is there just to inspire you you don't have to follow it exactly um, so obviously where there was stars in this one you can use a completely different shape you can use hearts uh, butterflies like I have and I'm sure the other ladies this month will show you lots of different ways you could interpret the sketch um, you know to suit your theme your photo um, but I think this one is so pretty and it's such a, a girly page which is perfect for you know a baby girl photo and um, I'm so pleased that I've already scrapped now this photo of Penny um, because I, you know it's one that I definitely wanted in my album um, she is really really she's such a cute baby she really is she's got so much hair um, and you know she's she's been welcoming into our super huge family um, <laughs> there's so many children it is unreal um, so once I've straightened up the title um, there'll be some close-ups coming up Thank you everyone for watching and please join us over on the UK Scrap Addicts Facebook group where there's lots of inspiration um, using this month's sketch. Bye.